the USA met Sweden in semifinal number one, and they picked up a 4-1 to one victory to punch their ticket to the championship game. Looking back in the tournament, the USA lost their opener 4-2 against Switzerland, but really have never looked back since then, with wins over the Czechs, Denmark, the Finns, the Slovaks, and Sweden. Well, I just, you know what, I, I love the will of these guys, and they uh, they had a tough year together last year uh, within our league. Uh, it was, it was, was hard for us, and, um, you know, we're, we're kind of, you know, we go into tournaments, everyone thinks, hey, you're going to win the tournament. It's not that easy, and uh, we won our first one last year, and then the second two, we finished third twice. So um, we had a little bit of an uphill battle. They had to battle and uh, uh, through the spring and did a lot of good stuff and came back in the fall, and you know what, it's just, it's been their will and, and uh, their intestinal fortitude that I really like, and uh, they, they come to work every day, and, uh, um, you know, we got one more game to go. This U.S. squad, a confident bunch, and they play like it. Uh, I think we're an energetic group. Uh, you know, like when we're outside playing soccer, always yelling. Like most other teams, kind of quiet. I think I think that comes with uh, being with each other two years. You know, so I think we're, uh, we're all comfortable around each other. We're all uh, we're all little obnoxious kids around each other and a uh, pretty loud team. So. This will be the sixth trip in a row to the final of the IIHF Under-18 World Championship for the USA. Championship game, does the coach need a speech or does he just open the door and say go? Uh, I mean, coach usually comes in with a pretty good speech, but uh, it's up to him. And uh, I think either way, I think the guys are going to be going, so... No, you know what? They, they've heard all my speeches. They, uh, they just, uh, you know, we might have to give them the, uh, uh, hey, you guys know what you're doing, let's, let's go out and get her done. <laughs> It's semifinal number two. The Czechs topple Canada, and they will meet the USA in the final. David Cass scored at 6-17 of overtime to give the Czechs a 4-3 win after they had squandered a 3-0 lead from halfway through the game. What a comeback. Power play goal 3-1, and then especially when they scored the second goal at the beginning of the third period, we, we knew on the bench that it's going to be tough, and it happened, you know. And our guys, they were more concentrated on the on clock, and it, like, there was like 18, 17, 16 minutes to go when we stopped playing our game. But on the other end, uh, when, they, when they tied the game 3-3, I think we had a couple of good opportunities to score and to decide the game. At the end, uh, I think we were a lucky team and, and you know, huge teamwork and commitment from each player. And uh, I believe that we deserve this, that, that win. Yeah, I feel, feel actually great, but uh, Canada, Canada comes uh, really hard in the end of the period and we, we lose our lead and uh, that kick us a little bit down. I think we lose some energy, but uh, in overtime we get it back and uh, we are really happy that we get a chance like that and we score and yeah, then it's coming. The Czechs are on a roll. After a game two, three nothing loss to the USA, they've come back with four straight wins, including a quarterfinal win over Russia and the win over Canada. So the first game against Denmark, we had the great start, great two periods, big win. Then we played United States, and I, I, I think we had so many scoring chances. We hit the crossbar twice. We had a couple of breakaways. We lost the game three 0 and we struggled at the defensive end in our defensive zone. And after that, we had day off, and we worked pretty hard on, on that on that details uh, uh, as regards as regards defensive side of the game. And I think that was that was the main improvement because we are strong on the offensive side. We got uh, good forwards with with good good skills, but still we needed to be more organized. And which happening through the tournament, you know, each tournament has good development, and the team had the development as well. And so it's a rematch between two familiar foes at this level, the Czech Republic and the United States. So how do you feel about facing the U.S. a second time? What do you expect? That's a good story now, you know, because we, we played quarters and we, we beat Russia, a uh, big team, and then in, 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 in semis we beat Canada. So that's, that's like uh, dreams, dreams come true. And now, of course, Team USA, uh, I would say the best team in the tournament. So this challenge again. We played them four times this season, twice at Hlinka, once before Hlinka's exhibition game, then in uh, semifinal in Hlink, at Hlinka in August. And we played them here and in Russia, and we lost four times. So it's just like fifth game this season and we'll see what happened. Till midnight we want to really enjoy that, that this win but after that we we get the guys ready for the final game. 